Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back, Brennan again, Upper Body Power Day, May 7th. Now as part of this, each day that I do, I'm going to incorporate some 5-3-1 progressions into this. So today I'm choosing to do that for bench. So it's gonna be a five plus day on bench, 205 to start, second set is 235. This is really my first workout back at what I thought was full strength. And I say that I've been sick for probably the past 10 days, haven't really had a full workout. If you follow me on Fedocracy, you know that. And I said I thought I was back at full strength because this third set of bench, which is a five plus set of 265 was really an eye-opener for me and I had really estimated in my mind I could probably do this 10 to 12 times but as you're about to see here that 10th rep definitely was not happening and I was editing this and I put a picture up on Instagram of me kind of mid fail with the bar kind of right on my crotch and a lot of you guys made good comments about it saying this is a, a dick lift but honestly if you're gonna call this fail in its true form I think a better name for it would obviously be the penis press. And as you can see right here, we have a little bit of a fail and the penis press is here to save us. Look at that, look at that strength, look at that power, respect it. Now, a lot of people probably wouldn't put this video up of them failing, however, it's good in my mind. You guys, you know, it's important to know your limitations and fail. And for me, I'm glad I had those safety bars set up appropriately. Now, moving forward with this, though, that did affect the rest of my workout as I didn't want to overly exert myself. So the next thing I did was bent over barbell rows, three sets of 10, keeping the weight static at 225. You'll find this angle that I use here not only really takes all the stress off my lower back, but for me, it really allows me to feel my lats the best. And I'll probably do a video on this in the future on a tips video. You guys have requested that. I then went on to do some body weight pull-ups now for this the first rep or two was kind of fast in my mind I wanted to make sure that I was going all the way down so what I started to do is just incorporate a one second pause at the bottom so we get some dead hang pull-ups these are really tough but they really work your back and lats very well in my opinion so that's what I did so we started off with again the bench press we went to some bent over rows I did only two sets of pull-ups really again just working back here and after that what I wanted to do is you know what I thought you know what it's chest day it's not Monday but it's chest day so I figured let's go throw some more chest work in so I just did two sets of incline dumbbell press here we have 100 pounds went for 10 reps on this first set the next set I bumped it up to 110 Ideally, I would have used 105. However, the gym I go to here, they don't have 105. So their dumbbells go 100, 110, 120, 130s. So instead of just doing a static set here, I also just jumped up to 110. Got some good feels in this. Nice and controlled in my opinion. So we did a good job there. Now, the next thing I did is upper day, you need to hit them buys. Curls for the girls. So these are just some standing alternating dumbbell curls. Just did two sets of this. I'm not really trying to murder myself with a tons of sets for arms. So I did two sets of this, followed up by what you'll see in just a second, which are some dumbbell side laterals. Now for these, what I've been really trying to do for this exercise, as well as the dumbbell side laterals, is really leave my ego at the door, going for just a more controlled, smooth motion, really feeling this at the top. Get a little bit of vein popping in there. That means my diet must be going all right. Um, you see this ghetto rig I have up. I'm actually mounting my little camera on a bench, pointed towards the mirror, pointed back at me. You know, gotta play them angles. Unfortunately though, there's no one in the gym to really play those angles on. Well, I shouldn't say unfortunately, because then my girlfriend's gonna think I'm looking under the girls, which there aren't any that actually go to this gym that are under the age of 70. So Amanda, if you're listening, which you haven't been watching a lot of my videos lately, Lay off me, I'm fine. And second point being, watch my damn videos. So dumbbell side lateral raids. Actually, Matty Fizarro made a video on these the other day, which he made some great points, and I always try to do these same things regardless. Is I don't really try to throw a ton of weight on here. So as you see, I'm using 25 pounds. Just again, slow, controlled motion, really trying to isolate the right head of the deltoid. You'll see all too often people throw a ton of weight on here, start using a ton of momentum, and that's definitely something I want to avoid. Finally, to finish off, just some triceps. So my main workout, again, I did a little bit of chest, a little bit of back, shoulders, buys, tries, hence the term upper body. Just gotta work on those striations. Ah, my delts actually look pretty big here, nice and round, but triceps and arms in general have always been something, in my opinion, that I've been extremely lacking on. And I think part of the problem is, is that my delts overpower them, but this isn't really a bitch session and complaint session for me. So. Hope you guys enjoy this. I'll be having some more videos coming up. I'll do some more tips videos as well. Hope you enjoy my fail. Revel in it. Hopefully it doesn't happen to you. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, stay big.